second, it felt like something was like this. I don't look at myself. I'm going to talk about my current house again and updates. And then there's a couple of things. Someone knocks up. No, we're in the hallway. Anyways, there's at least one story I forgot to tell you in my last video, um, a paranormal video, story time, whatever. Um, I will link it below if you want to see it, but there's like one story I forgot to tell, which I think it was like the first one, or the first one that happened to me. I don't know how I forgot to tell you, how I forgot it that day, because it was so weird. Okay, so I have to sleep with two king size pillows, one in front of me and one behind me, and then I have a pillow I kind of hug, and I have my normal pillow I put my head on. I started sleeping with, like that when I was pregnant with my three year old because it was more comfortable, and it just became habit, so now it's comfortable because I'm a big girl and it just makes it more comfortable. So. And I have to keep flipping the pillow with me. Like I can put one in front and then turn over and then, you know, there's one there. And so when the one in the back of me, I kind of have it tucked under me a bit because so it doesn't fall off the back, fall off the bed. So I'm asleep. My husband's asleep beside me and I'm facing him. So my back is at the edge of the bed and well not the edge like on the edge but the pillow is between me and the edge and the pillow is kind of tucked under me like every night well I woke up to something pulling the pillow off my bed I grabbed it and was pulling back it was kind of like a tug of war with my pillow I don't know what it was but it was creepy and I won because I got my pillow. <laughs> but I was like playing tug of war with something over my pillow that was being pulled off the bed. And it was tucked under me. So it was like pulling, like trying to get it out from under me. And we sleep with my door locked. So it was no children. <laughs> and that was like the craziest thing. I, I don't know. I really have no idea. Um, uh, do you believe in ghosts? Do you believe in demons? Um, why? Why not? Um, I'm trying to rush because my battery's about to die and I talk a lot and I just keep going. And anyways, um, and then I was in bed and the sheet was like laying down, but my fan's on, but it's blowing me in the face, but it's not blowing on the fan or the sheet because it's kind of down further in the fan, you know, anyways. I'm laying there. I don't remember if I was watching something on my phone or if I was trying to go to sleep, but all of a sudden, a sheet lands on me, and then it felt like something was patting me. I laid there for a minute, and I was like, okay, okay, and I waited for it to stop, so it stopped doing it, and all of a sudden, it felt like something was like this. Oh, that, that was it. I slung my arm, and that was it. Okay, so. And I've had people, you know, I still have them grabbing my feet and playing tug of war with the cover at the foot and, oh yeah. Okay, so back in March, early March, my dad passed and um, my uh, family, one of my sisters and everybody came in and they left, but my, one of my nephews stayed because he flew in from California, so he was still here and it was like... And my sister went back to Ohio, and, and so it was like the next night after she left, like we were sitting in my mom's room because we kind of hung out back there with her. And I was in the chair in the corner. My nephew was on sitting on the bed, you know, kind of laid back. My daughter was kind of on the bed, but she wasn't really, I don't know if she was looking. Yeah, she was looking. And my mom had her back to us. And we're sitting there, and all of a sudden, this bottle of um, the stuff you put on for sore muscles and stuff was sitting on the shelf and all of a sudden that sucker flew into the middle of the floor okay 
I know the difference between being shoved off and just falling off. Falling off, it's just gonna land and bounce. This sucker flew off, landed in the floor. We started screaming. My mom thought we were fighting because me and a few, we, we clash sometimes. He's like 18, 19, but anyways. And she freaked, you know, she, we were screaming and hollering because it did that and stuff. And there was nothing around it for it to, yeah, freak. The day my sister did leave, it was that night. Okay, so that night my mom had the flag sitting up on her shelf, all the way on it, completely on it. And she heard something. And then she looked and the flag was hanging almost all the way off, like just hanging off, like sitting off, like it was gonna fall. But she had it all the way shoved up and nobody was in there because, every, well, nephew was asleep, but I mean, everybody else was in bed too. So it was like, okay, some crazy stuff going on around here. So those are so far my updates. I will film a video about uh, the picture of a ghost that we got when I was like two or three and we lived in Colorado, whatever. That will be my next story. Um, tell me what you think. Do you think we are haunted? Or it's just... Whatever. Because I don't know. Um, after my aunt watched my last video of what was going on, she said it was a demon because ghosts can't touch you, but demons can. And then they're starting to feel comfortable and it's like... <sighs> I don't know. Nothing. Nobody's gotten hurt. Nothing. It's nobody's. My mom got touched too. Yeah, my mom did get touched because she was telling me about it. And I've seen people walking by the window, like I said in the last video, and she's been walking, still seeing these. So really, we are. I think we are haunted, but I don't know. I want to get some paranormal investigators here, but some that's not going to charge me anything because I have no money. So I would like to do that, but you know, really want to know what's going on around here. And yes, my battery is fixing to croak, so I got to charge it to film another video. Or I might use my phone. I don't know yet. But thank you for watching. Um, if you have any idea or even anything, you know, just let me know. Do you get Talk about ghosts down at the bottom. Tell me your ghost stories, you know. Um, if you've ever had anything similar to any of these incidents happen to you or something, you know. Because, you know, it's some crazy stuff. So, thank you for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye. Because the light just blinded me.